In this video, we want to look at the lab diagnosis of malaria. Okay. This is very important, guys, because it has been asked so many times in the exam. Okay. And uh, there is a lot of there are a lot of details, so please pay attention here. First of all, demonstration of the parasite by microscopy. So you take a microscope and demonstrate the parasite. So what should you see? Some ring stage, some gametocytic stage, right? So let us look at this here. Something like this you should be able to see. It's a ring stage. Multiple rings means it's plasmodium uh, falciparum. If it is single ring in an RBC, it means it is plasmodium vivax. We are studying only two, vivax and falciparum. The other, ovale and malaria, we are not studying. It's not very common here in India. Okay, gametocyte, again, this is falciparum gametocyte because you can see it is crescent shaped, correct? So, you should be demonstrating the parasite in the microscope. How will you do that? There is thin smear and thick smear. For thin smear, they have mentioned the stains. The stains are Leishman stain, Jimsa stain, JSP stain. JSP is nothing but Jaswan Singh and Bhatta Charji. Bhatta Charji stain. So the, all the three are Romanowski stains. Okay, all the three are Romanowski stains. Remember, then you have something called as thick smear. We will come to all the details. Just for now, you just look at the uh, names only. Then you have quantitative buffy coat, QBC smear. This one has been asked in the exam separately also, QBC smear. Okay, quantitative buffy coat smear. We'll come to the details of this also. Then you have micro concentration technique, culture of the parasite. You can culture the parasite itself. So that is also there, just like how you culture bacteria. You can culture the malarial parasite, that is plasmodium. Zero diagnosis not very useful. However, in this, uh, the names mentioned are indirect hemagglutination. Okay, indirect hemagglutination. Then indirect fluorescent antibody test. IFA, indirect fluorescent antibody test and enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay. That is ELISA. So many are there, but they are saying it is not useful. Then you have newer methods of diagnosis. Let us look at these newer methods of diagnosis in another slide. So what are we currently looking at? Malaria lab diagnosis we are looking at. We are just looking at the headings. Demonstration of the parasite by microscopy. Thin smear, thick smear. Then quantitative buffy coat QBC smear. Micro concentration technique, culture of the parasite, malarial parasite itself, sero diagnosis, not very useful, they are saying, but however, they have listed the uh, techniques as IHA, that is indirect heme agglutination, indirect fluorescent antibody test, and enzyme linked immunoassay. Okay. Other tests which are done. Let us look at the other tests which may help. Blood sugar, uh, blood examination for hemoglobin, PCV and blood sugar because it will lead to hypoglycemia, correct? Urine you will check because you want to check for black water fever. In severe cases, you can check for WBC, platelet, blood urea, serum, creatinine, coagulation test also can be done where you will check antithrombin 3 level plasma fibrinogen, fibrin degradation products, thrombin time, etc. Okay. So what and all we will highlight here? Hemoglobin you will check, blood sugar you will check, urine, black water fever, right? You will check urine. Then you can check for, that's enough for now. Moving on, newer methods of diagnosis in this rapid antigen detection test has been asked in the exam. Rapid tests or something like that they have asked. Rapid immunochromatographic test where you will try to detect the malarial antigen. So you can detect this antigen PFHRP2 and in dual antigen test PLDH. Okay. Parasite F test and dual antigen test. Before that, some fluorescent microscopy. That is newer uh, method of diagnosis. Then you have the molecular diagnosis. This is all common. 
डीएनए प्रोब पीसीआर ऑल दिस ओके दिस यू विल राइट फॉर एवरीथिंग राइट पीसीआर फाइन गेस इज दिस क्लियर दिस रैपिड एंटीजन डिटेक्शन टेस्ट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट हैज बीन आस्ट इन द एग्जाम टू टाइप्स ऑफ एन दिस पैरासाइट एफ टेस्ट एंड ड्यूएल एंटीजन टेस्ट वी आर ट्राइंग टू डिटेक्ट द मलेरियल एंटीजन दिस इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एस द रैपिड इम्यूनोक्रोमैटोग्राफिक टेस्ट सो यू विल ट्राई टू डिटेक्ट द पैरासाइट पी एफ एच आर पी टू पी एल डी एच डी एल डी कैन गो फॉर ड्यूएल 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 एंटीजन टेस्ट एंड पैरासाइट एफ टेस्ट एफ इज वेर एफ इज हियर पी एफ एच आर पी टू ओके सो जस्ट लुक एट दिस सो दिस रैपिड टेस्ट नो दे कैन यूज दीज कार्ड्स इट बी वेरी वेरी फास्ट सम ऑफ डिटेल्स या पैरासाइट एफ टेस्ट इज नथिंग बट पी एफ एच आर पी टू एंटीजन दे वॉन्ट टू डिटेक्ट दिस इज नथिंग बट हिस्टीन रिच प्रोटीन टू एंटीजन ओके हिस्टीन रिच प्रोटीन टू एंटीजन एंड इन ड्यूएल एंटीजन टच टेस्ट पी एल डी एच हियर दे विल डिटेक्ट पैरासाइट लैक्टेट डी हाइड्रोजिनेस पैरासाइट लैक्टेट डी हाइड्रोजिनेस ओके सो जस्ट ट्राई टू क्लोज योर आइस एंड से रैपिड एंटीजन डिटेक्शन टेस्ट इन दिस पैरासाइट एफ टेस्ट and dual antigen test two other parasite f test in which they are going to try to detect the hrp2 antigen that is nothing but the histidine rich protein 2 antigen and in the dual antigen test they are trying to detect what pldh that is parasite lactate dehydrogenase produced which is produced by these parasites okay for now this much is enough guys come back for the next video bye bye bye